Welcome back, friends and family of the episodes. <laughs> Welcome back for another episode of Man of Madan, recorded right after the last one, because I am already fucking hooked to this shit. Let's get this party going, shall we? You and me, friends, forever. <laughs> Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Ah, uh, South sure. Pacific, huh? Be careful of the spike. Oh. Oh, I was prepared for that one. Did you see how quick I responded to that? Ha. Not skills, baby. Not skills, baby. Uh, we playing? Yeah, we playing. Okay. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. Huh. I mean, can you oh, another painting. What happened? Did you get shot? Devil of the Deep, huh? Oh, I'm clicking it again. My bad. Alright, um... Let's keep a lookout for those paintings. What's she doing? Okay, never mind. So I did this in real life once. I uh, scuba dive one time. It was pretty fucking amazing. It was a great experience. Julia, leave it. You have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Hmm. I mean, live a little. Be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. All right. All right. So we got a little bit on uh, bold, being a cool guy. That's a weird looking fish. Wait, she's still going in there? Fuck! I wasn't paying attention this time. Come on, man! I got it, okay. Nonchalant or defiant. I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. And I gotta keep my hands on the fucking keyboard a bit this more because. What's your plan? Launch from a U.S. base. Kowalski. Some of them penguins from Madagascar. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they there we go. Their way to help out a ship. Man, it's hard to be so, uh, to pay attention when you fucking, uh, watching those cutscenes. Bullet holes. Ooh, we got a secret! All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I bet. Anything else? Looks like we're doing pretty good in the exploring part so far. First off here, let me take a minute to thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. 
Oh man, we're eating treasures. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Damn, dude. He's holding something. I gotta hold it up. Maybe I can inspect it a bit more then? It's crazy. It's probably his wife or something. What's back there? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wait, didn't we need that for the shark? I didn't know we were going to use that. Oh my god. Wait, am I playing or... Yeah, okay. Oh! Jesus fucking... God damn it! Life gives you lemons. Fucking make fish lemonade, dude. What the... Oh god damn it, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> And co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. God damn. Oh. We Wait. Get out of here. Get How out. is this happening? No, we didn't explore everything yet. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab it. <gasps> It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh, wait, no way. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. <laughs> I know you can't tell right now. I, I. Oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Dude, fucking yes. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Episode three, and we got wedding plans. All right, handsome hero. Can you imagine yeah, dropping the ring, though, huh? The, uh, scrumbling death trap. Flip. Yes, this yes, I'll marry you. Achievement unlocked, baby. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? That's a really long, thin boat. <laughs> Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. What? Whoa. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, my God. It was just barbecuing. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, bewildered. What are you play paying the ocean? What's up with that other boat? Why are you paying the ocean? Wh what? What does that even mean? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, oh. that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge. 
full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Dude, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. Oh, my boy's back. Sean. Sean. Hey, John. Sean. 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 Johnny. Sean. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Clever. Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say, or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Nice. Nice. Dude, I'm a good guy. You know, that's how we do well. I just know how to make the right decisions. Don't quote me on that in later episodes. <laughs> but for now, we chillin'. We chillin', boys. Oh, man. So we're like exciting, huh? Skins out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played, there, man. No. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. Phenomenon, huh? Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Um... Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Dad can foot the bill? Provocative? Or sentimental? Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Um, of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much That was funny, dude. Had. Are you smiling like at the screen like I am currently, smile. guys? We be smiling. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. They're boning. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? <laughs> On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I bet you were. God, God guys, I don't actually think I can play Blair Witch, man. This game's got me fucking hooked. I don't want to quit. <laughs> All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Ah, oh, we're finally get to play as the babe. So, I'll take a look at the pictures we took. We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. 
What was the last one? Oh no, she's putting him back. No! Continue. I want to see where it left off. Wait, is it leaving off where we were? Oh my god. That's impressive as hell. Nice. Nice. So, we're going again tomorrow. Let's see anything to figure out? Let's, uh, yeah. let's pay attention to this dot. Too dangerous for my blood. No, no, no! Don't turn it off. We gotta keep it on. We gotta uh, keep it on. I'm gonna go find Julia. Man, piss off, hey, man! Almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Damn right, I got distracted. There's so much to explore. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Oh, man. They got me blushing. We should get back. Man, this shit's got me right going, here. man. I fucking love this. Just a man with emotions. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Or captain, Those my captain. All right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they'd turn long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, no. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. <laughs> People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Ha, <laughs> ha. of the one track mind the woman answers i live here in the lighthouse my parents are upstairs right now twist of course the lighthouse keeper says that isn't so of course he's lived there alone for years and the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs so they go to the top of the lighthouse and there splayed down on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe always an axe i mean do people even use axes anymore i'm just reporting the facts Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets. 
With an axe. With an axe? You should just embellish the facts. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. <laughs> You're locked <laughs> in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Okay, that scared me a little. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol yeah, dude. subdivision dude. 1099. Uh -huh. For sure. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Huh. Good shit. All right, this seems like a pretty good part to end the episode with. Um, let's continue in the next one, which will uh, indefinitely be recorded right after this one. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Um, and let's continue this motherfucker together, shall we? Thank you, and I'll see you later, bitches.